I'm all strapped up. Those are my special flies. Special flies. I still don't know what I'm doing. Basic, basic. fly fishing. That should be the title. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Bree Andersey, and today I'm here with Dr. Ray Waldner, and he's teaching me how to fly fish. And the nice thing with a stripping basket is, I'll strip, I'll strip into the basket, and the line will be just contained right there. It won't be floating all over, and you've got total control of your line where where it's going. <laughs> I love to sup fish. It's been on my list for a while to learn how to fly fish, but I haven't had a lot of time to commit to it. So I really wanted to get some lessons. This guy's an expert, he's also a legend, um, and he's gonna teach me how to do some fly fishing today. And then I'm gonna try to fly fish from my paddle board. Well, what we have is a couple of nine weight fly rods in a stripping basket because we're waiting and we don't want the line to be wrapping around our legs or any place else just drifting away from us. And this helps us control everything that we're fishing with. And Ray also mentioned for the stripping basket for me on the paddle board that it'd be really helpful so it doesn't get stuck on my board and on my paddle and I'm excited to try this out there too. A common misconception is you have to break your wrist in, in order to fly fish. The only time the wrist will break is at the, the end of the forward cast and the end of the back cast, and just a very slight tick of the wrist at that time. The rest of the, the, rest of the period, it, everything is done with the arm. To just start out, rod right, right at the line, right at the fly, okay? okay? You're gonna lift and stop. Don't break your wrist, okay? Just keep the arm stiff, keep the elbow down, you lift and stop, okay? okay? And then just drive the rod forward. Okay, I caught so a leaf. straight up? Straight up and then? Yep, just... you wanna do it on one, one okay. fluid motion if you can, okay? You're gonna raise it up and then, okay, drive it forward. You don't have quite enough line out there to do it. Line. Now, now this is, this is what we mean by a tight loop. See how small that loop is? If I start using my wrist, look at how big that loop gets. Then you're dissipating energy all over the place. So right here. Yeah, now hesitate, <laughs> hesitate for just a moment okay. when you bring it up and then go forward, okay? You're gonna bring it up like so, raise everything up, and then drive it forward. Okay. It takes, it takes some practice. So raise everything yeah. up. Yeah, you can. You can go ahead, you, you, can, even, <laughs> you can even let go of it in your left hand. You're just holding your right I, hand. I, so I don't have to hold that? No. Okay. I'm used to using uh, a spinner reel and inshore fishing or offshore fishing, which are completely different in and of themselves. But um, having the line in your hand and just the coordination of it all, it's 100% it's different than what I'm used to. Gives you more of a direct contact with yeah. the fish and with what you're doing. Um, okay, so I should do... Okay. Now that was nice. You <laughs> see how straight that went out? <laughs> I don't know what I did though. Maybe look, I look at how my hand is right in line with the rod, okay, or with the rest of my arm. And it's... I still don't know what I'm doing, dang it. But don't, yeah, don't drive the rod into the water. There, look at that. <laughs> okay. Look at what you did. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> and now with this hand, what just I see gonna, that you're doing. All you're your... gonna do is hold the line. Just follow the other the other hand with the line. Okay, so how do you know when to let more line out? When do you know that it's going fast enough to do that? Well, if you if you feel like the line is trying to pull itself out, mm -hmm. you can you're feed just... a little bit of line. Okay, okay you want to have a little bit of extra line in a stripping basket. More? Sure. Okay, that that's good. <laughs> You're that's confident good. in me. <laughs> that's yeah. No, I'm I'm good as a starter. I know what I know what this outfit will do. I know what you can do. Okay. Go ahead and point your rod tip right right at your fly. Okay. Line the rod tip right down at the water. Okay. You want you want no slack in that line whatsoever. Oh, okay. So but I see your your this. line is Mine's going. Mine's like all the way yeah. over there. So I need to get it. Yeah, get it out. straight. Okay, that's all right, that's all right. <laughs> all right. Okay, now keep, 
keep the rod tip pointed right, right at the fly, okay? okay. And we'll just do a simple pick up and lay down, okay? Just up and down. Okay. Try it again. again. Do it. Okay. Now you wanna, the line is gonna follow the rod tip, wherever the rod tip stops. So if you bring your rod tip way back, you're literally gonna drive the fly into the water. Okay. So what you wanna do is keep the rod tip fairly high and okay. they'll keep the fly high. So you're saying if I'm pointing that rod tip back, that's why it's touching? If, if, you're, if you're falling like this, okay. if you stop it like so, in other words, you're going up and you stop it, the line will go up this way. Okay. If I've got the fly in this hand, mm -hmm. and I see a fish that I want to cast to, yep. what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make a roll cast and let go of the fly at the same time. Okay. Now the line's out, and I can go ahead and make my forward cast, make my delivery. Okay. Hold it by the hook. Okay. And that way it'll get pulled out of your hand. Yep. Go ahead and make a roll cast and drive it forward. <sighs> I feel like I just whacked myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Take some practice. Because... <laughs> Take some practice, that's a good thing. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna go back. Okay. Nope. <laughs> No, but that was a beautiful forward cast. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I got okay. a mangrove. You did. Yeah, we're too close to the mangroves now. To retrieve, yeah. you're going to keep the line down. You're just going to pull in like this. With it, my rod tip down. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then if you get hit, you yank back on the line. Okay. From here? Yep. Okay. And then... So I'm holding, when I'm letting it out, once there's a fish on, I'm letting it out. I'm holding with these two fingers yeah, until all of this You can, you can, let, go, this you can let go line. here mm -hmm. and just, just play it out with your left hand. And then once that is Then once tight, that's all over, you find them off of the reel. So then I'm gonna switch hands and go like this? Yep. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But you figure this is your strongest hand. Mm -hmm. And if you had to keep up with a fast running fish, I mean, I can barely pick my nose with this hand, much less reel any kind of speed. So with my right hand, I can keep up with a fast fish. Okay. All right. Well, let's give this a try from Go the for board. It. And you tell me what I'm doing wrong. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Now you're going to start with your rod tip right down at the water. So if I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna. If you're gonna go over there. Straighten my line a little bit. Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, how much will the wind play into my cast? Tr tremendously. Tremendously. Okay. Now keep keep your rod tip up until you're ready to deliver the fly. Keep it up. Yeah, you don't want the fly to hit the water. Okay. That's called false casting. You can false cast like this all day long, and then you deliver the fly. Okay, that's, that's what's coming from lowering your rod tip too much. If you keep the rod tip up, it'll keep that line way up. I'm trying not to use like... Yeah, keep, keep, keep the rod tip pointed up here. Maybe I should start looking at it, right? Yeah, now, that's, yeah, now the loop, the loop on that, that was a huge loop that I think is, you were using your wrist quite a bit. Okay. If you keep the rod tip in one plane, you're going to get those nice tight loops. When you, when the rod tip is going like this, that's when the loops open up. Breathe, that's much better. Now you were throwing a good loop that time. It was a little bit large, but it was a good loop. Awesome, thank you so much, Ray, for coming out today and teaching me. My I, pleasure. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I'm really excited to, to take it out there and, and learn more. I, I really need to practice. That's what I learned today. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, you can catch some of the videos every other Tuesday with our new series, and we'll go on some more adventures.